Hobo Blaze time. Mr. Christmas. Cheers up. Kitchen's closed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a little box of leftover. There's a crab cake in here and uh, some goat cheese with baked flatbread. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I made it. I made it. <laughs> oh, I wish I. Uh, brought a cup of water. I had a sip of water. I'm like really thirsty right now. I didn't really drink any water. I was, uh, I didn't feel thirsty. So I guess like the drought, the drought, drought, that's when you feel thirsty, right? Um, period was, uh, was almost gone because when I first started, I remember like I was just chubbing, chubbing water, chugging water, slapping and right whenever I go back to the um, service station I'm just like drinking I was so thirsty I couldn't even talk I like when I run my special I just feel like man my mouth is so dry and it's it's affecting me when you're like thirsty uh, because if you don't know that your body human body is 70% are made of water so you really have to stay hydrated all all the time uh, so I guess I have plenty of water today and I guess, I guess it's just like my body is adapting. Um, I'm back to my server server mode. <laughs> because I've been like, I've been hanging around doing nothing. Basically just eating and sleeping and chilling for the past year. Um, so yeah, but I feel great. Um, I had really good tables tonight. Oh shit! Let's go. And um, the manager on the floor is Bridget. Um, I think I mentioned her. Like she was the one who picked up the phone and told me I can park right in front of the building. When I first started, like was doing my training, I was so nervous. I don't know where to park my car because I still live in Lake Forest. I have to drive all the way and I don't know where to park in the big city. It looks like it's out street parking, but I just don't like all the parking situation. And she was like, yeah, she's, she was so pleasant and so helpful. I just felt like, oh my God, if I can work with someone, if this is the management at this place, I just just feel like at home um, yeah so she was managing tonight which never happens because she always work in the morning and by the time I got here she's about to finish so I well, she's managing and um, I have a lot of parties celebrating oh, shit. Okay, almost dropped my phone celebrating a special event so I got uh, one two I have two tables celebrating birthday uh, but the first one of the table uh, they had a, a, a fish um, a crab cake for their entree and he didn't like it he didn't really eat much and he didn't really want to tell me why he doesn't like it 
um, but then like I find out uh, from his partner, pa partner, partner. Crossing the road. I love the Christmas lights. On the side too. Beautiful. Yeah. So uh, later out, uh, we found out that he just his just shy and he's very polite he doesn't want, he didn't want to say anything he he uh he's all his fault because they had uh appetizer a lot of bread and the wines so he's just full and uh he mentioned something about being a little fishy so i offered them a uh, free dessert but then like when i explained the situation to my manager bridget and she she said, oh, we can take it off. So she actually took off the, uh, the dessert, also the fish, the crab cake entree. So I, I told my table, they're like, oh my God, you don't have to do that. They're, they're happy to pay for what they ordered. Um, but then like, they were very happy and they wish me a Merry Christmas. And you know, I just wanted, they are, they're very nice people that I just wanted to, be even nicer to them, make them feel at home, make them feel like, make their night special because um, you're hard working and you deserve it, right? You deserve to treat yourself and go out and have a nice steak and enjoy uh, what you ordered. Uh, we don't want you to pay for the money and ended up not liking the food and it is such a waste. Um, so I have two birthday celebration uh, I offered them free dessert I was like pick the most expensive one <laughs> uh, we're gonna comp them so it's on the house so uh, they got the chocolate chip cookie skillet it's like a warm giant cookie and we top it up with the uh, cold ice cream and a hot chocolate fudge it's my favorite dessert so I, I recommended those and I have a table from Japan it's their first visit so we'll always like here uh, we will do something special for the first time visitors and I have two tables it's their first time um, so a lot of special vacation today occasion today and uh, I did my best to, to help them celebrate um, and I have a table with two kids. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was fun. It was really fun. I had a great night. Um, I mean, like I I made good tips. Uh, they left me a lot of cash tips. But I mean, like I just I don't. I, I just feel like everybody's so nice. I've never worked at a place where. People were so kind to me. Like I made a lot of mistakes, and was it here? oh wow! Okay, um, I made a lot of mistakes, especially when I first started. Uh, but right now, I feel like I mean the I can't I can't got the got the hang of it. I start to feel at ease. I'm not nervous anymore, and I was just having fun with my table. I know what to say. I um, pick up the conversation at the right time. I, I, you know, um, it just like, I'm start to, I know I can do better and I'm, I'm improving every shift. That's all because I have great management, great team, co-worker, the chef, all the people I work with are so nice. I just, I can't believe I find a, a workplace this welcoming with great benefit, great food. Um, I just, I feel so blessed. That's how I want to say. And I would do my bestest to make the guest who dine with us have a wonderful experience. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Thank you, Lettuce. <laughs> Thank you, Wildfire. <laughs> <laughs>